Who, who are you? What are you? What are you? What is this? What is this about? I'm Kelsey Lemon, and this is about me going back to Zambia this year, um, May 7th to August 25th, um, to staff the immersion internship through Poetis International. So tell me about Poetis International. What do they do? Where are they based? Poetis International is um, a nonprofit organization that. Um, just brings justice uh, through the gospel um, in, into community. Um, they're based in Choma, Zambia, and also have a base here in Zealand, Michigan. Um, and I'll be in Choma, Zambia for four months. Yeah. Now you mentioned before that you've been to Zambia once before. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Yeah, so last, <laughs> last summer um, I went as an intern um, for three months, of, yeah, the three months of the summer. Um, and it was the discipleship internship. So basically I went for three months and there was like a lot of class time um, where we sat and learned through different teachers um, and different lessons, just kind of like redefining like what it means to like live and breathe in the spirit and to um, follow Christ and what he says about us um, to replace what the world is, says about us and that we didn't even know we believed the world says about us with um, what he does. And, and then like through those lessons, we implemented that into um, the community, then through different programs like Kids Club, where we had like tons of kids in the community come and we just like love on them and teach them. Um. So help me understand what you'll be involved in. You're an intern last year, and mm -hmm. you're a staff member this year. Yeah. Well, what's the difference? What's, what's changed? <laughs> Um, I guess just coming back as a staff member um, means that I have had the experience as an intern and I'm just excited and ready to bring kind of that experience back to help people walk through what they're learning for the first time there maybe or um, relearning or redefining or deepening their knowledge of um, all these truths that we take in there. Um, coming back as a staff member I think God's just maybe going to show me how to lead a little bit and to help people walk through a lot of big questions, big challenges, struggles, breakdowns, <laughs> all the stuff that I went through last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, Kelsey, you, you're 19. You could be doing anything else. Hmm. Um, why go back to Zambia? And why go back to Zambia again? I believe like that's where the Lord wants me right now. I believe in the mission of what's going on through Poetis um, in Zambia. I believe in the discipleship that's happening there and I believe that people come back actually ready to love well and like just give the gospel like as it is um, in this story that like Jesus gave us. So I guess I'm going back because I wouldn't want to do anything else with my life except for give that truth to someone else and I was given the opportunity to go back to give that truth in Zambia a second time, so I'll just do that. <laughs> what do you think Jesus wants to do with you while you're there? What, what lessons do you think he wants you to learn? I'm not sure exactly all the lessons he'll teach me because last year I didn't even know what <laughs> lessons you, I didn't know what to look for last year either, but I think um, just in the months leading up to like now and the next few months before I leave again, um, He's just been teaching me how to listen. And so I think that growing up um, and him maturing me and growing me in my faith, uh, I had to go through a process where all I had to do was talk and I had to talk and I needed to be heard. And um, some of it was immaturity and some of it was just wanting to hear my own voice. But a lot of it was the Lord speaking and me hearing and not knowing I believe things until I said them out loud. So I want to give other people the opportunity to say those things out loud and know that they believe them and solidify them in their hearts. What is it about Kelsey <laughs> that would be a gift to the Zambians? What the Lord's put inside of me um, is a lot of love to give. And I guess like a lot of people have a lot of love to give, you know, like the Lord. Um, this is like top priority, so he like puts that in all of us, but um, how he'll work it through me in worship, I think, and in conversation will be probably what I have to give. Um, and worship is something that changed like my experience 
uh, incredibly is where I met the Holy Spirit and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is a real thing, you know, like the Holy Spirit is real, you know, and it's moving inside of me and like I want to be able to create that atmosphere for other people. Uh, I want the Lord to move through me and open that place up for people to be able to just experience what the, the Spirit is in, in the way that it opens us up to experience intimacy with Jesus. Well, Kelsey, where is Jesus in all of this? Everywhere, in everything, which is like crazy too because it's like I don't always see that and I don't always feel that because going back it's like it's hard because um, the Lord has blessed me since coming back with a lot of community, which I didn't have last year. But in the midst of that, I see that the community that he's given me here is a reflection of the community that he's gonna give me there. So I see him, yeah, kind of in the daily life of what's gonna make saying goodbye so hard is what's gonna be what he's inside most prominently when I go back is the community and the love and the relationships and that's what it's all about. What is it gonna take for you to get there? Um, the logistics of it, what do you need? Yeah, I've never, I've never gone to staff before, so this is a whole new experience for me and I would love advice and prayer and um, just to be encouraged and walked with like through this experience. Um, and then financial support is huge. You gotta raise money. I have to raise money, I have to raise a lot of money. Um, but this year, I was given the goal of $3,566. Okay, yeah. so you need about, how much, say it again, you need about I need two about and a half two, grand? Yeah, about two and a half, yeah. How do you think this trip, the second time around, will change you, you know, from the Kelsey you are now to the Kelsey you are when you come back? I think that it's gonna help solidify a lot of the stuff that I learned last year, kind of, um, which is really exciting that the Lord's giving me an opportunity to go back and kind of go back to the place where I learned, maybe even for the first time really, that Jesus really loves me. <laughs> like, I mean, I know people have said it like my whole life, but like being there and in that atmosphere and hearing and walking through the lessons that we did, Jesus actually loves me. Like this changes everything. <laughs>